As a graduate student, I loved being at the Bell. My boyfriend at the time would come down and we would meet together and we'd say, okay, so where in Minnesota should we go today? When children come through the museum, they're using their eyes, their ears, their bodies. They're using everything to learn. The Bell Museum has always been there, focused on the importance of natural history. Many children living in this urban area will never see the two types of Minnesota forest. They will never see a Minnesota prairie, and they have that chance here. I think it's very interesting to people to see how much we have impacted the world. Looking at all the animals that are here just had a profound effect on my interests and my career choices. Well, for generations, the Bell Museum has served as an important front door to the university. Literally thousands of young people, probably tens of thousands of young people have come through as part of growing up in Minnesota. It's a great introduction to science and math and art and the natural environment. I think it's been a wonderful part of Minnesota's history and the new Bell will let it be a great part of our future. This is a once in a century opportunity to re-envision this museum and how it serves our state. We're building a 21st century natural history museum and there aren't many of those around. At the same time, it's retained the best of what is in the past, but we're gonna go much beyond that by being able to provide innovative, hands-on engagement experiences. We're really gonna be able to talk about science that's happening now and that's being thought about for the future. The new facility is going to include an amazing planetarium. What we can show in the planetarium goes far beyond astronomy. We can follow the path of blood through the heart, or we can follow a monarch butterfly on their migration. We want people at every stage of their life to find something in this museum that will inspire them, that will move them to take action. And with this museum, we have a unique opportunity to do that. It's absolutely astounding the legislature created a Museum of Natural History in 1872, 14 years after Minnesota became a state. I think that obligation they felt then and that vision, we had better still be committed to today. This institution is going to be a gem of an institution. I would challenge everyone who values our natural world and fostering understanding to step up and join us in supporting the Bell Museum. I've been a member of the Bell Museum for years, but never really made contributions above and beyond membership. But this year, I thought it was the right time for me to do that. I invite all of my colleagues in the business community to support the transformation of this museum.